So this is the reason why I will never ever buy these pine hives again. So this is yet another hive of ours that split over the winter, not even 12 months old. That's the third one I've found this week. Never again. So these are pine brew boxes that I purchased from B Equipment. So what do we make of this then? To me, it looks like buck teeth. And there she is. Okay, ginger she is. Look at the colour of her, she's stunning. She's responsible for all this brood. So thanks for joining us for another video. We're out and about again, seeing to our bees. We're adding supers, so we've got Vic with us. It's Thursday, so we've got uh, a little bit of childcare. So the extra pro hounds are welcome. So I've just arrived on site now, and these girls are packing in that pollen. So we're gonna get inside these hives, check what's going on, make sure everything's as it should be, add some supers, and ch unfortunately, we're gonna change some brood boxes because as I'm gonna discuss, some of these pine brood boxes are literally falling apart. So on Wednesday now, we've managed to actually get outside, so it's been pouring down pretty much all last night. So I'm in danger of getting behind a little bit now, after gloating last week that I felt like I was in front. So we bit the bullet, we're gonna have to do some inspections come rain or shine. That said, it's just starting to clear up a little bit now. So we've headed over to our racing stables, Apri, which is literally just down the road from home. Uh, first inspection for these two, just gonna check them for space, make sure everything's okay. Stick a couple of supers on, so that's what we're trying to do over these past two weeks. Dotting supers about, just make sure everything's got enough space. So, pick myself an, up a new lighter after uh, my nightmare last week of, uh, of not having one on site. So we'll get the smoky lit, get the kit over there, and we'll have a look inside these hives. So I think it's pretty safe to say these bees aren't going to be in the best of moods, but needs must. It's time to get inside these hives and check out what's going on. A bit of bee flight going on, even though the weather's a little bit poor. So fingers crossed they're not too bad. So these are the hives that we added extra frames to uh, a few weeks back. So we'll see how they've developed with a bit of time and a bit of feed. So plenty of bees up in the feeder, but obviously they've uh, They've consumed all of that. So they're all over, all but two of those extra frames that we put in the other week, and they've still got full frames of stores here. And as you can see, that's one we put in, they've been drawing that out nicely. I was a little bit worried these girls might be a little bit light, but one heavy frame of stores that light they are not. I want to move that to the outside. In fact, I want to turn it around the other way. So we've got a frame of foundation next to it that's undrawn on one side. I encourage them to draw the rest of that out and the queen to have space to lay. But it's just packed with stores. Another one there. And then the next frame's brood, I can see. That's a worker brood. That's a drone brood at the bottom. Fresh larvae, fresh eggs. They're actually back filling some of this brood with, uh, with nectar. I think it's safe to say these girls actually need some space. Another full frame of brood. Really like coloured bees as well. It's just wall to wall brood after those uh, frames of stores. All this brew will be due for hatching over the next couple of weeks and these will have an explosion in numbers. So it's the right time to get these, to get these supers on these girls. So we're into fresh eggs and larvae, you know. So she's probably at this end, the queen. If I don't see her, I'm not bothered. I've seen fresh eggs. Everything looks really good. So I'm not too worried. Yeah, more fresh eggs in all of those. Looking like a really good colony. We will replace that at some point. So it's actually stuck to the side of the box down there. So I was, uh, I haven't seen her, but I am, I'm not too worried. I will check on the other side of that crane board though.
So the next time somebody says to me, must be great being out in the sunshine every day, being a beekeeper. Oh. So I was done with these bees since back in the, last year. Let's give them a brewer treatment and fondant. So this is the first time. And it's pretty harsh conditions up here. It pretty much blows all day long, every day. So the, the bees get a pretty hard time of it on this site, but it does yield some decent crops. And within 200 meters of this site, there's a rapeseed crop. They're on this site because back in last year, so last summer, that was all spinning around. Not much to see now, but that was all sunflowers. So we just left these here, you see. Pretty much, to be honest, by accident. It wasn't by accident, but we moved everything around. These were the last ones, and by the time it came to it, I had nowhere else to put them, so obviously it's a, we have static bees on this site most of the year. Right? So we're just getting a smoker going with a trusty old cable packaging. So we're 20 hives or so on this site. So we're literally, well, I've got a bit meal, like I say. We're just going to start at one end and work our way through. We've got a lot of poly brew boxes on this site, which I'm going to obviously going to change about now because something is uh, is turning them into a bit of a meal. So we'll swap them all out for wooden ones. Uh, inspections while we're here. And then, like I say, add supers and we're good to go. Forecast 17 degrees at the weekend, so I want, like I say, I want to make sure them supers are on. And then there's, uh, if they are bringing any nectar in, there's plenty of room. Lots of blackthorn in blossom now. I can see some other bits and bobs uh, starting to flower. So, fingers crossed, it's the start of a flow. So what do we make of this then? To me, it looks like buck teeth. Rabbit, her, there's a the thoughts. To be honest, can't include that one, that's Vic's. Um, Strimmer rash from last year, but uh, yes, that's just matched the corner. Well, they've done well. I'll try and fill it, but I say they've not gone through, so at least it's still usable. But we'll see what we can gob up with that. So we're just into the first hive, and Vic's found the queen on the fourth frame. Beautiful, beautiful big queen. There she is, unmarked, unclipped. So I've actually forgot my pen, but uh, I've got my scissors with me, so we'll get her clipped and we'll give you a bit of a better close up than, uh, than we did last week. So, same as last week, I'm just going to pick her up with the wings. The reason I pick them up with the wings is because I've got little Richmond's as fingers. And although I've done this thousands of times, I'm never confident enough to, uh, to pick the queens up with a thorax. So, better safer than sorry. He says. There she is. So it's hard to see, but she's obviously in there. We'll push up to the top and get her clipped. And obviously Vic can move all these frames over now to this wooden box, knowing that she's not going to damage the queen. So just line her up. There she goes. A beautiful queen, this. Also got my scissors the right way around. So we're just hook one wing through. So we just hook one wing through, like so. And just a little nip off like that on one wing and we're good to go. So this is the one we're just changing out for the damaged brood box. But as I took the top box off, inevitably pulled the frame out and dropped it. So I just told I haven't dropped the queen. I'm 
loads and loads of freshly hatched workers. It's just frame after frame of brood. There she is. Look how ginger she is. Look at the colour of her, she's stunning. She's responsible for all this brood. Vic just pointed out, she thinks these girls are a little bit confused. Probably no more than the rest of us though, eh? So I don't know if you can see that from there. But that's why that box is split. The wood has started to bow on this end and on the other end, it has actually split. Cheap wood. So generally this starts looking fantastic. Um, it looks like we've got everything bang on feed wise, uh, pollen sub wise. Um, some, as we said last time, we had some monster colonies. So they've all had two supers put on uh, because we're only going to be coming here probably in, a, in a, another fortnight before we start to weekly inspections then. Uh, other than uh, the, there's only one I'm concerned about. I want to say concerned, uh, it's a uh, swarming concern. So this one's an overwintered on double brood and they've got brood in both boxes pretty much. Uh, top to bottom brood. So they've had two supers now and uh, we'll see where we go with them. We're starting to make some queen cells, um, not chairs or anything like that, but uh, plenty of drone brood and just looking like, not imminent, but um, if any swarm, I can, I can guarantee you this one first. But yeah, generally, really happy with this site. We dropped off a few more pallets. So the plan is we'll bring some more harms up here. Uh, and backfill some of these empty spots. But all good. So I'm gonna show you why I will never ever buy these hives again. So I purchased these hives last year, and I think in the January sales. We did our splits, obviously put the small colonies in, in these boxes, and then they've overwintered this last season. So they've only actually been in use for about six months. And on doing our first inspections and going around our apries over the past few weeks, I've noticed a reoccurring issue. So the boxes have started to split. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's a split in this box, over three quarters of the length of the box, and halfway in this second box. So these are pine brew boxes that I purchased from B Equipment, an online equipment supplier. So some people say it serves you right for buying pine. And I would kind of agree with that as well but you would still expect them to last longer than 12 months. Now some people might say, it might be just a bad batch of wood or one off. Well, the thing is here, I actually purchased some Langstroth pine brew boxes from B Equipment around three years ago, and they did exactly the same thing after only three months outside. So unfortunately, obviously the pine is the issue here. It's cheap wood, the B Equipment are using, 
That said, I'm not just slating beer equipment. I've had some cedar supers off them and some cedar brew boxes, which are absolutely fine. Just obviously a serious issue with the pan they use. So I've got two choices here now. Either dispose of the boxes, or I try and do a little fix. So I'm gonna go with a latter. I wanna try and get a little bit longer out of my can. But the issue is now, obviously now that split started, it's gonna to wanna to carry on as the season progresses, as the box get wet and it starts to expand. So my plan is I'm gonna drill a little hole at the end of the split, like you would do with fractured metal. And then I'm gonna use some expanding wood glue within the crack. Hopefully that will grab hold of it and prevent it splitting any further. Even if I tried clamping it together with some wood glue, I don't think it would work, but we'll give it a go. Let's see what happens. We'll come back to it uh, and see where we've got on. And then I'm gonna glue that all the way along with some polyurethane glue. I could use wood filler, but to be honest, I think that would just let water back in and I'll get a reoccurring issue. But we'll give it a go and we'll see what happens there. So we drilled our little hole at the end of the split. I've got my polyurethane glue and a little school spatula, which I'm gonna to use to press the glue in. And then we're just gonna see, once it's dried, once it's expanded, how we've got on. I think it's safe to say, I won't be buying any more pan brew boxes off beer equipment. It's been a couple of days now since we uh, glued these boxes. So it's gone nice and hard. You can see the glue's expanded within the cracks. So fingers crossed, that might do a job. So we'll just scrape that off now and then we'll have a look what it looks like. So they actually look really good. I mean, it's done the job filling the crack in. But uh, but time will tell whether it's a permanent job. Obviously, if it doesn't work, I'll, uh, I'll update you. So thanks for tuning in again. Well done if you've made it this far. Hope the weather picks up for you all and your bees are doing well wherever you are. And until next week, I'll see you again.